Welcome back. Matt here, Hollywood's Garage. Hopefully you watched the last um, show I put out, the last video I will cut, we'll call it, because it's about this car. And that's what this video is about. So to watch this video, you should watch the previous video so you know what this video is about. Anywho, today we're gonna, the day before Tuner Bash, 2024 season closer. Last one, yeah, there you go. And we're gonna take this to the track and see how the dual fuel pumps work out and if we are in the safe zone of the AFRs. Um, before I was tapping out at 12 and a half ish, 12.7 at the top end of the track, running out of fuel, dual fuel pumps, previous video was for that. And um, we should be better, a little safer, you know, maybe a little less power because you make more power on leaner, right? But we're terrible, we don't wanna do that. But any hoose, I digress. So to get ready for tomorrow's show, we are going to polish up this turd, okay? You got some dust on her. I haven't washed the thing in two years with water. We just keep putting dust off of it. And then we're gonna get the laptop there. You see it right there. And we're gonna do a little more of a spicy tune in it, uh, clean it up a bit. And then uh, after that, we're gonna be taking it to the track and hopefully we can run high tens. Sounds doable, so let's get to cleaning. Product of choice is what I have on stock. Turtle wax ice, synthetic wax. A little thistle. Okay, you just do that. And you do the whole karate kid. Wax on, wax off. Sheesh, shiny. Next is clean up them wheels. The front ones specifically because of disc brake glass. There you go. Let that sit for a couple seconds. We'll wipe her down. After that, she's detailed. Then we get onto the tune. Got the Phytex software open. We go back, back. We go down to handheld software mode, laptop software connection. Ooh, it beeped. So now you go, you go read. Reads it from the uh, um, ECU of the Phytech system from the car. Loading, loading, loaded. We hit play, we'll see the numbers change, boop. Then we go into our spark. You go scroll, 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 down to here. You go to, I think the 3D one, the big table map. And that's what I have so far. I'm gonna change it up. Maybe I'll show you, maybe I won't, maybe it's a secret. Just finished downloading. I'm not gonna be able to do it. I mean, I'm gonna bring my laptop, obviously, but we'll test that on the way there, see how she cruises. I turned my um, timing down on the cruising RPM spot. Maybe help with cooling a little bit. And uh, we'll see how she performs. So some big things that have changed since my last time I raced at 11.4 is I got a better tire, a double A traction, BF Goodrich G-Force, I think they are. A little wider too, from a 255 to 275. And then uh, other than that, I put two fuel pumps in. So we got extra fuel now. So if we ever do want to turn up the boost a little bit, we'll just sprinkle a little more boosties. And the tune. That I'm going to leave a lot harder. I might even try to leave on the two-step, which I have a set at 3,000 RPM. So we'll see how the track holds, right? I mean, it's during the day. It's supposed to be like high of 12 degrees Celsius, so nice and cool. Again, I'll take the air filter off the turbo. When I reach down the quarter mile, you get all that air, some bugs and whatever car parts fly in there. Maybe a small child. I mean, if they get in there, it's their fault, right? And we're here. Uh, lineup was ridiculous, guys. Woo Even came a little late to miss the rush and they were just waiting on waivers and stuff the whole time. But any hoose, we are in. Weather's good. Nice and sunny out. Got teched. Let's go. Uh, Let's go make a pass and uh, hopefully we don't uh, see Uncle Rodney.
1.78. We lost traction right off the line, so we're gonna have to feather a bit more on the second run here. Successful tuner bash, under wraps. Successful, yes. Engine's still running. You know, Uncle Rodney didn't come out, anything like that. Uh, but, I don't know, 11.7, that's our time. We did two runs in a row at that, so, I mean, we'll take it. Uh, I could still do some more and more tuning on it. Um, my best guess is I did lose traction quite a bit in the first 60 foot compared to last time. Um, wasn't a sticky. Also, I did tune it a bit different, a little more conservative, boosted it, timed it up on, you know, turn the boost up where you can on a Gen 3, which is above your uh, max RPM, so 5,500 and up. I put the little extra sprinkle, a little more boosty your timing in there. Boost the same though, kept it at that 10.4-ish. Um, could bump it up to 12, 13. I'm sure that would help, uh, but it's just traction. There's no point turning it up if you're not connecting to the ground the whole time, so. Just wasn't that sticky. I ran twice, of course, back to back, so one was hot. Uh, other than that, it was good. Good turnout. Didn't do the two-step competition this time. Um, I would have redeemed myself, sure, but there was cars there that were just crazy popping, crazy loud. Like you can tell, it's, that's their tune. It was just that pop tune. So didn't try it, uh, but I mean, it was still good. No awards this time either, but they're not going to give me judges pick twice in a row in the same year. I mean, there were some nice cars there too. They had, a, I think, a Ute won one of them. 
um, which of course we don't have those in Canada. So uh, you see a U, just a Commodore with a box on it, like an El Camino in a way. But we don't have those here, so they're kind of cool to see around. Like it's, you know, fair game, they can have that. Um, yeah, that's my takeaways, it's just uh, traction. And um, I think that's about it. Mike, I cut a light at 0.09 though. Ooh Man, I can cut a light nowadays though. That's pretty good. It's still a good turnout. Um, gave away like 30 stickers. I just had a kind of a free kind of sticker spot there open when I had the hood open. Those were gone. Every time I came back, they were gone. I mean, I said take one. I'm sure people took more, but whatever. It's a way to get the name out there. Yeah, so there you go. All good. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.